we get her now? Rat! When she turned into the dragon, I thought she was gonna offer me half the world or something. I don't think she'd say that when her goal was to destroy the world. I mean, would you really have accepted if she said that? I think that's a game over. Of course not. Not in front of everyone else, anyway. You're way scarier than our four. Nap, Nap and Diffy, we shouldn't let down our guard. We don't know if she's really gone or not. My grandpa always said, what appears twice, appears a third time. That dragon was the third. I really don't think that saying means anything. You sure you memorized it right? Correct, though. Most of your powers are drained. Another fight would be kind of rough. It'd be great if we could find out whether or not our four is done for. There is a way, but it may take about three days. That again? Can't you, like, feel the change within yourself? Ugh, whatever. I'll look for you. So, can you transform? Please be gentle with me. It would be very bad if you stain it, smudge the writing, tear a page, drool. We'll just fight her if she comes back again. So you say, but if R4 reappears, she will probably be even more powerful. It's fine, don't worry. We'll keep training so we'll always be stronger. How determined. You're so dependable, Iffy. I suppose I can stop worrying now. No matter when R4 returns or how many monsters exist out there, Iffy is going to take care of it all. What? Don't make it sound like I'm going to do everything. We're a party, so we do it together. Save it for a rainy day. It's best to prepare in case R4 comes back in the future. That'll only make me restless. If I was all prepared and then nothing happened, I'd always be worried. Only the ones worried should get prepared. That's not true. It's something my grandpa said and he's always right. Think of it like this. You leave your umbrella at work in case it rains. What if it rains while you're at home? But then I'd feel silly for wasting my time worrying, but... What if it was snow and hail and cats and dogs and fire and meteorites at the same time? Then I wouldn't go outside! I I'm sorry, but I'm getting a little hungry. I thought I'd hear Nep say that before anyone else. Should we get going? Are there other buildings or popular tourist spots in Celestia? I want to take this chance to see them all! Hmm. Any place we can eat? It's strange though. We shouldn't really get hungry in Celestia. That only applies to goddesses. They do not get sick, nor do they age while in Celestia. That's crazy! If there were a land in Celestia, the CPU presiding over that place would be the most important one. We're back on solid ground at last. What should we do now? It would be nice to go somewhere we could have a meaningful discussion. Go to Compass. It's not too far from here. Wh why my place all the time? It's so small. I think we should go to Planetune Basilicom. I agree with Compa. It is Neptune's Basilicom, so I am certain they would serve us tea and snacks upon request. 
Oh, but I haven't been there since I got my memory back. It's gonna be all flavors of awkward. I don't know if I'm ready. It's cozy at Kampa's. I know where she hides all her most yummy snacks, too. You do? Then, no way am I letting you in. The Basilicom is much more spacious and comfortable. Hold up! Why not Last Station's Basilicom? It's way better than Planetoons. It's future-proof. My room's spacious, too. I've got cute dessert cakes and expensive organic blended teas. That's no better than my Basilicom and Leanbox. We have our own personal patissier. Along with an open terrace, which we may need to dust off since I haven't used it in a while. Jerry's Basilicom is always warm and cozy. It's a little far, but I'd rather talk in a place I'm familiar with. I think we should just go to Planetoon since it's the closest. Jeez, that's not a good reason. Man, I don't want to go. I'm back, or nice to meet you. Hi, I'm the CPU Nep, a uh, Purple Heart. Huh? Is that really you, Lady Purple Heart? That voice. Lady Purple Heart, we've been very worried about you. We're so glad you're safe. Where have you been all this time, my lady? Who are these people with you? Friends? They must also be from Celestia, then. Oh, can we borrow a room where we can talk in private? Certainly. Whatever has happened, you must all be exhausted. We will offer as much service as we can. Please, make yourselves comfortable. could all settle down for once. I'm feeling a little out of it. But there's still lots of stuff to do, even after defeating R4. The monsters summoned by all the world's heretics. They will not go away, even if R4 is gone. That's right, the monsters! I, the Tome, and the Four Goddesses shall take care of everything. With their powers combined, they are as powerful as the True Goddess with my consent. True Goddess? Something about the idea and an execution balance? Yes. A Goddess can overwrite the Tome's records. In other words, she can change the world. She's able to alter the world so that monsters do not exist. True, it'd be swell to get rid of the monsters like that, but wouldn't that kind of feel like cheating? How? We're just utilizing the true power of a goddess to wipe out the monsters. You're one of the four CPUs. How is using your power cheating? I agree with Nepnep. Iffy, the goddesses should never resort to a quick, easy solution. It's about putting your powers to use. Do you actually want to do this on your own? Of course. They are monsters invading my land. Doesn't matter who did it or why. I want to crush them. This is where we all must stand up and defeat the monsters ourselves. To make sure it's done right. Yeah, that. Those are the words I wanted to have come out. Kampa, you agree, right? It'd be great if we could get rid of the monsters quickly, 
But I see where you're coming from, too. Who cares about the method? All that matters is that they're gone. You two gotta put your pride away. I'm in agreement with Lady Blackheart. Monsters are troubling the people. We should do this quickly. An even split. I thought everyone would like my idea. Can you tip the scales, Whiteheart? I don't care, so long as the monsters are gone. If you really want to fight them yourselves, then we'll just ride out the monsters from Louis and Last Station's records. Well, I knew that. Why don't we try it? That sounds like an ideal solution. You two really fine with it? Who knows when we'll cooperate again. This might be our last time. At least, I'm not thinking about doing it again anytime soon. You two should give up. Isn't the peace of your citizens more important than your pride? Fine. Yes, Ify, you are right. I'll accept the offer for Leanbox, too. Nope, I pass. We'll all take care of Planet Tune together, right? Nep-Nep, is this determined? I'm okay with it. Let's keep this party until you're satisfied. Your school won't reopen until the monsters are gone, you know. The longer it takes to get rid of them, the longer it'll take for you to graduate. Is that okay with you? Are my priorities backwards? I think so. You're gonna be one of those adult students who look silly in a class full of teenagers. I... I will become an adult student? But... I can't leave Nap Nap. I... I... Oops, sorry, Kampa. I totally forgot about your schoolie wooly. Fine. If Kampa can graduate and not become an adult student, I'm willing to help. Nap Nap, thank you. Good to know it's a happily ever after ending. How do we overwrite the tome's records? Put one of each of your hands on me and pray. The four of you are now one. Link your thoughts, or it will not work. Link my thoughts? With these stupid archetypes? Put yourselves in my shoes. The three of you ganged up on me and pushed me off Celestia. I'm traumatized. I feel bad about it thinking back. We weren't exactly rational. Let's just put that aside for now. We should concentrate on this first. It's not that easy. We've been clawing at one another until just recently. It's gotten better since we teamed up against R4, but I think we've still got some bitter feelings inside. We spent way too long fighting each other. I don't know about that. You're all thinking too much. We should just let bygones be bygones. Hello? I'm the victim, you know? Don't make it seem so lighthearted. But, well, we're sorta in a crisis. I'll forget about it for now. You owe me lots of snacks, though. Let's work together and end this. Oh, Neptune snacks? Ew. Like you need it. Then help me out, and we'll call it Squaresies. How's that, Grabia? That's not how it works, Neptune. This is about our feelings. We can't just turn them on or off like a switch. Everyone, please think about the good things your fellow CPUs offer, as well as yourself. I know you can do this. Your thoughts can coincide if you all focus on one another's positive attributes. Yeah, okay. I think I get what my and everyone else's strengths are. We'll totally get along. Thanks bunches, Isti. We'll be a-okay. Let's erase the monsters from this world. Yes! Sure. I will be 
returning to Celestia, what are all of you planning to do? It is all right if you desire to remain here and settle things in your own lands, but please, make sure to return soon. Actually, the four of us already brainstormed. We're all gonna stay right here. We want to quit being CPUs. What? Quit your jobs as goddesses? That is not even possible. Who will create the next goddess? Who will become the current goddess? Please calm down. We actually wanted to ask you a favor regarding that. Give the full powers of a goddess to the one who succeeds us. This will return the world to its original state. Hold on. Are you serious? You're all declaring your resignations? I'm not all that surprised. Bodies are human. Nep Nep is still the same. Are you sure though, Nep Nep? You betcha. I want to be just like Ify and Kampa. I understand. Then, please, put all your powers inside of me. There. Sucks I can't transform anymore, but we don't need to since the monsters are all gone. Ugh, crap! Now I have to walk all the way back to my basilica. I'll get sweaty. I should have done this after I got back. We all do. Your personality is rubbing off on me. I didn't plan ahead at all. Well, what does that mean? I'm always thinking of future proofing. Perhaps this is because we all share some of our four's personality traits. Speaking of, wouldn't that make us sisters? Yuck! You, outsider, you've got a cell phone, right? Let me call the guild from here. Hey, no fair! You think you can just get picked up? Kampa, Ify, and I will take you all back. That's right. Now that you're ordinary citizens, I'm a bit worried to leave you alone. I wish you luck. Please help your lands as much as you can, as humans. Alrighty, you got it. If you see us being naughty, feel free to zap us with some divine lightning or something. <laughs> okay, you can count on it. Thus, the long-fought Consul War came to an end. After their deaths, nobody remained who knew the truth. It was forgotten as a legend from the past, as peace was brought upon the world. No one knows whether it was due to their efforts or not, but it is said all those on game industry lived happily ever after.
We get more screen time? What's this? Intermission? A commercial? But that was the ending! This must be our chance to say a more personal farewell! A good beginning makes a good ending. All's well that ends well. The start and finish are the most important things. But we didn't get an opening greeting. Well, should we wrap things up? Thank you for all the adventures. I know we weren't the best at times, but thank you for leveling us up. We'll see you again someday. Hmm, well, at least the next time you play the game. Make sure to raise my stats to the max. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for everything. Keep playing until your thumbs fall off. That said, I'll see you in the game. Bye-bye.